computing the curl of a vector field. So recall that the definition of the curl of a given vector field in R3 is given by the cross product of grad with the vector field. And intuitively, this measures the rotational component of the vector field. So if, a, if you imagine the vector field describing the velocity of a fluid and there's no rotational component of the fluid, then the curl of the vector field corresponding to the velocity of this uh, flow will be zero. Okay, so let's look at a specific example where we have the vector field described by x, y, y, z, and z, x. And we want to compute the curl of this vector field. So what we'll do is we'll compute grad cross f hat, and that's given by looking at the determinant of this matrix. So we'll have grad here in the second row and then x, y, y, z, and z, x in the third row. So we're going to compute the determinant of this matrix, and what we'll have is i hat times the determinant of the matrix given by hiding the row and the column that uh, the i hat entry is in. So we'll have the determinant of partial y, partial z, y, z, and z, x. So we'll have partial y, partial z, y, z, z, x. Then we'll minus j of the determinant of this matrix here. So what we'll have is partial x, partial z, x, y, z x and then finally the kth component so we'll hide this column and this row and we'll have partial x partial y x y y z okay so now we just need to expand this out so we'll have the yth derivative of zx minus the z derivative of yz minus j of the x derivative of zx minus the z derivative of xy plus the kth component and here we'll have the x derivative of yz minus the y component of xy and now we just need to simplify this so I'm going to switch to this bracket notation for this last part so this y derivative here will be 0 and this z derivative here will be minus y the z derivative here will be 0 and so what we'll have left is a z here so that this will just end up with z but since there's a minus there we'll have minus z here the x derivative will be 0 and here I'll have a minus x and so the curl of this vector field is just minus y minus z minus x Notice, of course, you should get a vector out because the cross product of two vectors in R3 gives you a vector in R3. Okay, so let's compute the curl of f hat, which is x, y, z. Now, we should expect the curl to be zero in this case because this vector field is rather easy to understand. It, it points out in all the radi radial directions. So there's no twisting component. So given our uh, geometric understanding of curl, this should be our expectation that the, the curl should vanish. 
let's verify that computationally. So we have grad cross F is given by the determinant of this matrix I, J, K, then partial X, partial Y, partial Z, and then X, Y, Z. Then we just look at this matrix here. So I'll have partial Y, partial Z, Y and Z, minus J hat of partial X, partial Z, X and Z, partial, well, no, the K hat component. So now we'll have partial X, partial Y, X and Y. And now we'll switch to the bracket notation because here we'll have uh, zero, well maybe I should expand it uh, a little more clearly. So here we'll have partial Y of Z minus partial Z of Y. Here we'll have minus partial X of Z and then plus partial Z of X, noting that there's a minus sign here. And then for the last component, we'll have partial X of Y minus partial Y of X. And all these partial derivatives are zero as claimed. Okay, so let's look at one more example. So here we want to know if the vector field given by e to the x, e to the z, e to the y is conservative. So here we need to recall the fact that, let's just assume everything is on a simply connected region such as R3, then f hat is conservative if and only if uh, the curl of this vector field is zero. So all we need to do is compute the curl in this case. So we proceed as we did before, looking at this matrix I, J, K, partial X, partial Y, partial Z, E to the X, E to the Z, E to the Y. So let's write it down here. So I have I hat is partial Y, partial Z, e to the z, e to the y, minus j hat of partial x, partial z, e to the x, e to the y, and kth component will be partial x, partial y, e to the x, e to the z. Okay, so switching to bracket notation, we'll have partial y e to the y minus partial z e to the z. He will have minus partial x e to the y plus partial z e to the x. And then we'll have in the last component partial x e to the z minus partial y e to the x. Okay, so if we compute all these partial derivatives, we should have e to the y minus e to the z, and this partial derivative is zero, this one is zero, this one is zero, and this one is zero, so we'll have zero in the remaining two, and since this is not a zero vector, so the curl is non-trivial, we see that f is not conservative. And that's it for this video. If you liked the video, uh, like hit the like button, consider subscribing if you want to see more of this content. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. The notes for this video will be in the video description. And that's all for this video. Thanks guys.